This is Twit. Derek, I have your app installed. Why don't you tell us about it and I'll show it off. Okay. Well, I went in a little different direction. The app I brought today is Todoist. And um, much to my wife's chagrin, I have always resisted making to-do lists and writing things down and doing what you actually should supposed to if you want to remember things. So I found um, a digital tool that would actually help me with that. Especially there was much weeping and gnashing of teeth when um, Microsoft announced that it was going to get rid of uh, Wonderlist and move it to Microsoft To Do. Um, I thought you know this would be a good one to really present and bring uh, into the show because it does a few things. It it has a lot of uh, smart tools in there that'll help you like auto suggest how to fill out a to do item. You can flag them. You can uh, categorize things if you're. Um, you know, for example, being a freelancer, a lot of things have different priorities or you want to put them in uh, different projects. So it, it helps you organize things that you need to get done. So that way it's just not one long infinite scroll. As you see there, you can um, assign it to due date. There are some collaboration features. If you have a team, um, you can put it off until next week or uh, whatever it else you, need, you think that uh, you actually need to. Uh, get it done. It also has a little bit of gamification built in where you increase a karma score over time. So the more you actually do things, then you can um, see your little points go up. You won't be able to demonstrate this, but it also has pretty deep integration with the Google ecosystem. You can talk to the Google Assistant. Uh, you can um, ask to talk to Todoist and it will add items to your to-do list. It integrates with Google Calendar, so it's um, really ideal for Android users and those who live a Google-heavy life. It's, it's funny because I, I, I was affected by the Wonderlist uh, disaster, as we call it, um, and I actually settled, I settled on Todoist as well. I, this is the one that I've been using since Wonderlist, and it's, 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 it's pretty darn good. They, those folks did a good job on it. So, and they, they just recently, that, the recently announced Google Calendar integration is awesome. makes it even that much more powerful. So, Yeah, and it's good to see a company that came out and said that we're not looking to get acquired. We want to stay independent. They've been around, I think, for like almost 10 years, uh, yep. it's worth it to get the premium upgrade. It's um, just a little under, little under $30 a year. If, um, you could, if, if you're not that heavy of a user, you can probably get by on just the free plan, but it, it's definitely worth it. And they are also one of those companies that doesn't think iOS first, Mac first, and the Android version is kind of an afterthought. It, it integrates with, with Android Wear, uh, looks great on Android, so I'm really happy with it. Nice. Todoist. Very cool. Uh, or how I always want to say it when I look at it, Todoist. Todoist. Todoist.